This video is about symmetric and skew-symmetric matrices. A square matrix, let's call it A, is called symmetric if A transpose is the same thing as A. And a square matrix A is called skew-symmetric if A transpose is the negative of A. That is, its entries are the same as A's entries with negative signs in front of them all. So which of these three matrices are symmetric and which are skew symmetric? If I take the transpose of the first one, I get this matrix. And we can see that that's the same as the original matrix. Therefore, this matrix is symmetric. Notice how a symmetric matrix has symmetry across its diagonal. The entries if we reflect them over the diagonal, we get the same thing. That makes sense because taking the transpose is like flipping rows to columns. Let's see what happens when we take the transpose of the next matrix. The resulting matrix is exactly the negative of the original matrix, so this matrix is skew symmetric. Once again, it's useful to think about the diagonal. Notice that all the entries above the diagonal, if we flip them across the diagonal, they line up with their negatives on the other side. Notice also that we have zeros all along the diagonal. If a matrix is skew symmetric, it has to have zeros on its diagonal because when we take the transpose, the entries on the diagonal stay where they are. And so the only way that an entry can be its own negative is if it's zero. What about this third matrix? What happens when we take its transpose? We definitely don't get the same matrix. For example, this entry here is one, but the corresponding entry in the original is negative one. So we don't have the same matrix here, so the matrix wasn't symmetric, and we don't quite have the, the negative of the original. I mean, most of the entries are the negatives of their corresponding entries, but not the ones along the diagonal. And so it can't be skew symmetric either. This matrix is neither. We know that symmetric and skew symmetric is related to the idea of transpose. So let's see what happens if we take a matrix and add its transpose or subtract its transpose or multiply by its transpose. Please pause the video and try to answer these three questions. You may want to write out a matrix A and try an example. For a square matrix A, is A plus A transpose always symmetric, skew symmetric, or neither of these? If I look at an example, here's an A, here's its transpose, and here's the sum, we get a symmetric matrix for this example. And in fact, A plus A transpose will always be symmetric. That's because if we take A plus A transpose and transpose it, we saw in the properties of transpose video, this is the same thing as A transpose plus A transpose transpose, which is the same thing as A transpose plus A, which is the original matrix. Since the transpose of A plus A transpose is the same as the original, the matrix is symmetric by definition. What about A minus A transpose? Again, if we look at an example, and I'll just use the same matrix A, we get a matrix that's skew symmetric. Notice how each entry is the negative of its mirror image entry across the diagonal, and all the entries on the diagonals are zero. In fact, A minus A transpose is always skew symmetric. We can write out the argument like we did before. A minus A transpose transpose is the same thing as A transpose minus a transpose transpose because subtracting two matrices and then switching the rows and columns is the same thing as switching the rows and columns first and then subtracting. But A transpose transpose is the same thing as A, so this is just A transpose minus A, which is the negative of A minus A transpose. So when we take the transpose of A minus A transpose, we get the negative of the original. And that means that matrix A minus A transpose is skew symmetric by definition. 
Finally, what about a times a transpose? Here we're taking the transpose of a and we're multiplying on the left by a. Notice that a times a transpose is always a square matrix, whether or not a is a square matrix. That's because if a has dimensions m times n, a transpose will have dimensions n times m, and the product will have dimensions m times m. So it makes sense to ask the question if a times a transpose is symmetric or skew symmetric, whether or not a is square, because this will still be square. We could write out an example and check it with an example, but I'm going to go straight to writing a, a transpose and taking the transpose of that and seeing what I get. Recall that the transpose of a product is the same thing as taking the product of the transposes where you do the multiplication in the opposite order. So instead of a times a transpose, I'm going to put the second one, a transpose, in the first spot and the first one, a, in the second spot. Well, a transpose transpose is just a, so this is a times a transpose, which is the original matrix that we started with. And therefore, we have that A times A transpose is symmetric. So we checked that A times A transpose is always symmetric. What about A transpose times A? I'll leave it to you to write out the details and check that this product is also always symmetric. Finally, I have a question for you. Is it possible to write this square matrix as the sum of a symmetric matrix and a skew symmetric matrix? Try your hand at it and see if you can do that. It's possible to solve this problem by trial and error, but I'm going to show you a sneaky shortcut. Recall that A plus A transpose is symmetric, and A minus A transpose is skew symmetric. But notice that if I take a plus a transpose and add it to a minus a transpose, that's the same thing as a plus a plus a transpose minus a transpose. But a transpose minus a transpose, when you take a matrix and subtract all its entries, that just gives you the zero matrix. And so we just have a plus a, which is the same thing as 2a. So if I take one half of a plus a transpose plus one half of a minus a transpose, these will still be symmetric and skew symmetric, but now they'll add up to one half a plus one half a, which is just a. So a nice trick to solve this problem is to take first a matrix, the matrix one half a plus a transpose, that's one half this matrix plus its transpose, which works out to one half of this matrix, which simplifies to this. Then we'll take one half of A minus A transpose, which simplifies to this. Notice that the first matrix is indeed symmetric and the second is skew symmetric. You can check that when we add up these two matrices, we do indeed get our original matrix A. This video was about symmetric matrices, which are their own transpose, and skew symmetric matrices, which are the negative of the transpose.